Well, you saw my England display cabinet where I listed everything out and displayed it and labeled it and everything. Well, after that video, a lot of you said you wanted to see the rest of the treasure room. So now, let's go see the rest of the treasure room. It is a seated quarter, and I just dug my first large scent. Yes, 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 I'm so happy. No, it's a peace dollar. It's a peace dollar. That is a breastplate, eagle breastplate, folks. All right, this is gonna be a cool token. Man, check that out, that's just unbelievable. Look at that, guys. I have never dug a US plate. Ah, you gotta kiss her, she's beautiful. Mwah. What is it? Give me a hug! <laughs> He's hugging me, that must be good. You know, as I take you into my treasure room, I don't want anyone to think that I have the greatest finds in all the world and I have the greatest treasure room in all the world, which I don't. I have a good room that I'm, I'm proud of and over the years have developed it and, and displayed it and made it like a museum where people can come in and look at it and everything. But you know, my display room, my treasure room is kind of a variety of many different types of metal detecting. You know, some people just love Civil War metal detecting and you go into their treasure room and it's bombs and shells and fragments and bullets and plates and, and buckles and everything in between. And that's what they really like and that's good. You know, I have some of that as well. You go into someone else's treasure room and you find they are, they're a coin shooter. They just like finding lots and lots of different coins and they display their coins. Some are token finders. They love doing historical lumber, sawmill, saloon tokens and things like that. Other people, you know, like memorabilia, you know, maybe trains and different things like that. I like to consider myself an all round metal detectorist. When you go into my room, you're gonna see tokens of all different types you're going to see memorabilia you're going to see watch fobs you're going to see stuff from england you're going to see civil war world war one world war two and uh, you're going to see lots of rings you know at the lakes and you're going to see lots of uh, uh jewelry uh there's so many things that i have in my room so i don't really limit myself to just one type of metal detecting. I kind of go all the way around and do all types of metal detecting, kind of based upon the season, you know. When it's cooler, I'm usually on the land. When it gets hot here in Texas, I'm out in the water. And I kind of like doing all of that. So I've displayed in my treasure room all the, the good treasures. I've got many more displays. I just don't have a big enough room to put them all in. But I've displayed them out and labeled them all. And and uh, and so I, you're going to see my room. I like to see your room too. So make a video and shoot it to me as well. So let's go in there and let's see what my treasure room is all about. All right, here we go. Here it is. This is where all the magic happens at my desk. All the computer editing. That's my setup. This is a, my office computer. Uh, I don't use it, but for my preacher stuff. That's my digger computer. And as we do a little quick look around, we kind of see different things, newspaper articles. I got a silver dollar there up with uh, Unearthed Arkansas, dug a peace dollar there back in, uh, oh, I forgot how many years ago as it was. There's some rings down there and different, dug my historic Edward the Sa Saxon coin. Got kind of some marbles, different things. I'm going to do a quick little panoramic, then I'll come back. There's my England display case that you guys have seen. You can go back and watch the video on that one and see everything in that one. And then here is uh, different, uh, different things here. Just a variety of different stuff. So let's start right here. This is all my England display case. Everything's listed out. I'm not going to go through it again because you can go back and watch the video on that one. So we'll just move on from there. And I have a picture here of me uh, doing some uh, recovering of a murder we weapon with two SUS marshals, a Texas Ranger, and a county sheriff and a PD officer. They gave me their challenge coin and their badge. This guy right here did. And so that was really a neat, neat thing. As we go this way... We get into my tokens. All this is my token 
right here. And so we start out with Mardi Gras tokens. I got a bunch of different state tax tokens. I collect all of them. All of these tokens here are just kind of miscellaneous, Chuck E. Cheese's, all the miscellaneous tokens you'll dig, bowling tokens and arcade tokens. This is all my lumber tokens, sawmill tokens, um, uh, bar tokens, things like that, saloon tokens. And uh, I like to collect those souvenir pennies. I made a display case out of that. That's my Ford. Uh, Model T Ford little display case I made. I got a bunch of old you uh, the antique dog tax not tags but these are the tax tags and these date back all the way to about early 1900. I've got here a uh, 1893 lumber token spill. You can read about that Yellow Pine and Tram and Lumber Company from 1883 to 1893. I dug them all out of one hole, stacked on top of one another. I uh, collect the presidential tokens. I got a bunch of different ones there. Uh, I dug this locally. This was the Denison Crystal Ice Company. It was an ice house here that was in our town. And I dug that token right there. It's got holes in it to show that it's been used. Uh, I had a friend from New York give me some transit tokens so I have never put them in a display case I just lay them right up here then I got some wooden tokens got one there and one right there as we go down this is my oddity display I find, found all these things water detecting when I find something weird I put it in there here's all my religious display you can see it's quite a few everything over here is crosses Everything over here is crucifixes and Catholic jewelry. That's from 1924. I take this off. You can see a lot of my necklaces are underneath. Right there. A lot of gold chains, silver chains. I have more displays down here. That's full of earrings, uh, full of bracelets, more necklaces. All different car things, uh, bullets, just tons of stuff down there as well. So that is my tokens. I really love digging tokens. Here is my coins. I have tons of coins here. These are some of the very first coins that I dug. And uh, from that uh, eight, uh, 2016. I got all different types. My Weedy King. I got my Garrett, my first AT Pro that died on me. Nugget signed it. Aqua Chigger, the Chig. Uh, King George signed it. Uh, Vaughn Garrett signed it. Ringmaster Tim. And so I keep that in there, kind of a little trophy. Nugget gave me some shark teeth. I have them in there. But let's go back to coins. These are not all my coins. I've got other coins right over here. These I call my bucket list coins. That's a half cent, a large cent, two cent, three cent, half dime, shield nickel, and then a seated quarter, seated dime, then a standing liberty and a barber. These are every time when I dig the coin for the first time, it's on my bucket list. I put it in there. I got an 1858 two real that I dug down in um, South Texas. This is, I did this when I first got the AT Max. These are my first finds and the first week I found all those coins right there with my AT Max. I've got a uh, one ounce silver eagle that I found in the water, Lake Hunting. Here are my Morgan and my Peace Dollars. I found a Peace Dollar. The second silver coin I ever found was a Peace Dollar. A Morgan, a Morgan, and then the Peace Dollar. And you saw the picture where I found that one. And that's not all. In here, I have a whole notebook full of two-by-twos, full of silver coins as well. And uh, I won't get them out right now. But just tons of silver coins. Uh, I think I'm going to go back over here with you. Here's my light box. 
that I shoot all my pictures in. I made that myself. Uh, as we move on over, there's my little thing my son made me with his uh, laser engraver. I love different skeleton and clock keys from early on. I've got some railroad memorabilia. Some of these check tags. I love collecting those. I have a variety of pins. And uh, so I just start making displays when I get a lot of the same thing. Uh, this is one of my favorite things to dig or these old watch fobs from the early 19, late 1800s, early 1900s. And I got a Boy Scout display. <coughs> Excuse me. Track medals, college medals, uh, educational medals. I put all those in there. It's a variety. Some secret society things that I found. Here I have a double dragon head fibula from Latvia. This is in the 9th and 10th century. Found a white gold amethyst ring from Latvia as well. I did some water detecting out there. And then I have lots of different buckles from Latvia, lots of different coins, all from the different uh, time periods, all the different empires that ruled over the land of Latvia. I just bought a book about these coins as well. And here's the Republic from 1991 to present. And here are Nazi Germany. And they were over it. I have some more stuff underneath from Latvia. So that's my Latvia display. I took all my Latvia videos down because I had a couple of guys from Latvia really giving me a hard time, telling me I was stealing from their country and this and that. All of this was on private land with a local Latvian detecting. And uh, and so here is a display that's very important to me. This is my wife's father's old farms, his mom and dad. So it'll be her grandparents. And uh, his old farm and the new farm. And he died in 2005. And my wife said, can you go up to the old farm and can you look around see if you can find my dad's old toys? And lo and behold, I found all of his toys when he was a kid and uh, was able to recover all this and show the whole family this display case that I made. Really neat, very sentimental. Here, I collect wheat pennies and I put them in there and the ones I've already have, I put them in that jar. Here's all the marbles that I have collected through the years. There's clay marbles. There's a few of my books. The rest of them are in the closet. There's my great Edward the Confessor, one of six. There's my AT Pro, my Equinox, and Manticores in the truck. So we'll move on here. Something my daughter-in-law made me. Uh, here's the crotal bells. You ever wanted to know what these sleigh bells and crotal bells? That's what they would look like right there. And they're all the different sizes. I had a guy built me one. And so we'll move on over here. This is my rings that I have found. I'll move the Christmas display. Lots and lots of rings. That's not all. If I take you over here and we go into my closet, you can see here's another ring of junk rings. There's a bunch of keys. And then here's another ring. All those, I think there's 200 or more. Those are all stainless steel rings. Those are probably three or 400 junk rings. And so, we have all those rings in here. There's over 400 in here. There's my book of coins in there underneath. I've got some old detectors. That's an old uh, Red Baron. Here's an old Whites, I believe. And then I didn't show y'all this one. 
I have a, the old Garrett Hunter up here as well with a, a manual, Deep Seeker uh, manual. All right, let's get back over here. We'll come back over here. I got World War I, World War II military dog tags. These would be the military pins that I found. Here's a World War I dog tag. And my friend Army Man gave me that because that was in the same division as the, ta as the tag. So he gave me his own personal patch as well. I have some World War II belt buckles. And then lots of uh, World War I, World War II, mainly World War II. Uh, different types of pins. Uh, some collar discs over here. And then I have a War Ration Book 2. This was with my grandmother when my grandfather was in the World War II. This is her War Ration Book that I framed. I've got some 50 cal bullets, some World War I or World War II M1 Grand bullets and clips. Uh, found those in the lake. Those are AK-47s. Here's some more pins that Army Man gave me. Zinc pennies, then just regular money. And so that finishes off that cabinet. Two clocks from the 1800s that were my wife's great-grandparents, I believe. One was eight, eight, mid-1800s. Uh, Auga horn from a Model T Ford. Still works when you put a battery to it. And we'll start down here. Got some replicas of some bullets. And then we got horseshoes, some horse rosettes here. Civil War period flat buttons. Then I have a Civil War period stirrup. Um, some lead. Some fired bullets. Here are more bullets here that I have found. Civil War period, some very rare. Sharps and Hankins bullets. I've got some Civil War grape shots. I believe this is a, a cannon hammer here. Some Civil War cannonball fragments. That is not a real cannonball just put in there. I think it's a mill ball from a, 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 where they grind up the ore and, and make iron. iron, iron. Uh, but I put it in there because it's neat. I have a New York Militia belt buckle. That's this thing right here, the small one with the eagle. I have the breastplate. I have a very rare Confederate script A button. A couple of more buttons. I got a Confederate homemade snake sword hanger. Uh, powder flask from 1850. This is a Colt powder flask. Check that out. That is so neat. So neat. Um, different heel plates. Another sportsman powder flask. Different stuff in here. Mix match stuff. Civil War period buttons. And I have my U.S. mini belt plate with some sword hangers and buttons all dug in the same area. Now this one is restored. It's restored here uh, back in February 2022 by J.P. Hunts. You can see what it originally looked like. There was the back of it and then what he restored it as. Now this was an 1839 U.S. mini belt buckle. It's a rarity out of one out of ten. It's a seven. So very rare. JP did a great job. I had it restored because it was flaking apart and I was losing it. So I had to make the choice to do that. So there is my display cabinet there. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Now you saw a lot of my treasure room. That's not everything, but it's all the good stuff anyway. And so I just keep collecting. I find it, put it back in a display. Uh, I got away from rocker cases, started doing wood cases and making it really, really nice. Started making display tags to put on everything. That way when people come in, they can really enjoy it. But 
You know, this is a great room filled with treasures. But then, you know, let me tell you, the greatest treasure is what's found up in heaven. As my theme verse of my, on my logo states, you know, do not lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven. I mean, treasures on earth. But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven. All these things I'm going to leave behind for somebody else. But the treasures that I send ahead are the treasures that I'll have forever and ever. So I encourage you to keep searching. Keep looking up and start searching for the real treasure. Until we meet again, I just wish everybody happy hunting and happy new year. And may you find a gold coin this year. God bless.